Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have a question in from uh, KD. That's our YouTube username. It came in as by way of a comment on one of the videos. It says, Matt, what do you think of the Sigma 50 to 150 millimeter f2.8 OS? Well, um, I think it's a good lens. I think it's a decent lens. I think it's it's great if it meets your needs. I've never been interested in it. So let me throw that out there. Now you're going, what? It's a great lens. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I think it's sharp. It's fast. It's got OS. But to me, I would rather go with the 70 to 200. I'd rather lose the 50 and go with the 70 to 200. I'd rather pair that with the Sigma 17 to 70 and have that lens with a 70 to 200. It's a better pairing. There's no gap. Even if I had a gap, I'd rather have the Sigma 17 to 50 F2.8 OS with a 70 to 200 F2.8 OS. I'd rather have the reach, and I don't mind having a gap between 50 and 70. I'm not going to probably sit in there anyways. So if I want 70, I go with the 70 to 200. If I want 50, it's fine. The, the 17 to 50 f2.8 OS is a great lens, very sharp, one of my favorite lenses. Um, and I've shot many events, weddings, and whatnot with it. Uh, and I, I'm content to shoot with that and another body with a 50 for a fast prime. I want to add in another lens, then I go to a 70 to 200, whether it's a Nikon, a Canon, or a Sigma. And I'd rather have the 70 to 200 again because I want the extra reach. I'm not looking to get from 50 to 70 on that lens. I'm looking to get out to 200. And if it wasn't for the weight, I'd be shooting like the 120 to uh, 300, which I think is also an F2.8 or it's at least an F4 from Sigma. Um, so again, I want to reach. But your mileage may vary. That may be you might rather have one that there's no gap and it complements it. But you just have to decide for you and your shooting requirements are you going to miss that long end, that 50 mil on the long end? I'd rather lose a little bit on the short end because I've got 50 on the one lens and 70 on the other. I don't need that in between. But I do want the extra reach. But you might not. It might not be your shooting requirements. Have a look at all the photos you've shot recently. Have a look at the photos that you think you'd be taking with a lens like this. What are you using right now? Look and see what the settings are. Have you been shooting a lot between 50 and 70? If you have, then maybe you need a 50 to 150. If you haven't, if it's usually either up to 50 and then you're out 70 and above, well then you would probably need or would be better served with what I would do, 17 to 50 or 17 to 70 and a 70 to 200 because it's if, if you look at your shooting data and that's what you're normally shooting at, that's what you like. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Which way would you go here? Would you go with a Sigma 50 to 150 F2.8? What do you think of it? Or would you go with a 70 to 200? Would you go with something else? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out KD. Interested to hear what you guys have to say, uh, guys and gals. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.